Hello, I'm M.K. Davis. I want to take a, a bit of a deep dive into the photograph uh, of frame 350 from the Patterson film, uh, the, particularly the one that was uh, d uh, enhanced by Todd Gatewood uh, from that original image. Well, let's take a look at it. The first thing I'd like to do is uh, uh, give you a good visual on the enhancement. Uh, I've got a, a fades in and out from the original photo to the enhancement. This being the enhancement. That's the original. Now follow the details carefully from one to the other. It's it's not hard to see that all of the all of the details on this enhanced version are also on the original. He just he made them more visible. And I hope that it has the same effect on you that it did on me once you realize that you're looking at an authentic frame and you can actually see enough on it to make a decision about what you're looking at. And that's how good the original film was. That all these people down through the years are saying we worked with the original. I'm sorry. It's very apparent you did not. Just absorb this. Look at look at one detail, then look at another detail. You can follow them right on over. This is not predictive software. These weren't predicted. You can follow them. All of that is in there. This is enhancement. Every single photo you see from the James Webb telescope has been through similar processes. But because of the subject matter in this one, the bar becomes impossibly high. But this frame is beyond all of that. It reaches that level of clarity where you can actually tell something about it. And that puts it at the top. Now I'm going to go to another frame. All right. This is the still frame itself. Uh, after Mr. Gatewood got finished with it. Now what I want to do is do a deep dive. When I say deep dive, they say that you can see 10 new things if you can get an improvement in resolution of 1%. Well, this is far greater than 1%. So let's go see what we can tell about it. I'm interested in this jawline right here. The reason why I'm interested in the jawline is because I see some things going on with it, like this right here, that I'd like to get an explanation for. The jawline is a bit overexposed, but not really quite washed out. So you can recover it. All right. 
right, now you start to see some really details. And you realize, and you can tell, that th there's not something is not quite right about this jawline. There seems to be an injury there. You see this stubble. See, you see stubble right there where hair has either been plucked out or, or cut, cut off. You could all around, the, the whole corner of the mouth right in here seems to be sh almost shredded. Uh, this is overexposed in this area. You still see right around the, the periphery there, this stubble. I'm going to go back over here. Hold it. Right here. I already had one prepared. There appears to be, along with the, the stubble and the old injury, some spots. And, and I'll show you. This right here is a round spot of red. It's uh, kind of in the middle of this stubble. Looks like somebody peeled the hair back, uh, either with a, a sharp instrument or either they pulled it out. Right here, you see a little red right there. A little bit right here. It looks as if that there was an attempt to fix the jawline after an injury. Uh, to me, I mean, that's the way it looks to me or has that appearance. Uh, I've got great confidence in the photo. So I, I don't think that it's a film anomaly or anything like that. That when you get better quality imagery, you're going to see a lot more things and you're going to see things that may surprise you. This is, a, this is a, a grand opportunity to, to put some things to rest about a problem that uh, people thought was uh, symbolized uh, unsolvability. But not so. It's not unsolvable. Whatever happened to this person, woman, lady, hominid, whatever you want to call her, uh, something happened in the way of an injury. Let's go back to this uh, fading photo. Just watch it. That's greatly... Uh, when you go back to the original, there's a lot more stuff there. Sit, look at this. Uh, that's that red spot. It's there in the original. You can see it. 
right there. Well, I just w hope you can see what I see and that you appreciate or you can build appreciation for the fact that uh, that something, somebody, something has, uh, has worked on that injured area. I don't know what kind of first aid Bigfoot no or sasquatch have but if you if the hair's cut it took something sharp to do it if it's plucked it took still took someone to do that you see the stubble This hair right here, I think, is from up top. It, it, it came down and flopped onto the cheek. I, I don't think that it's a beard growth, but that's my opinion. Absolutely amazing, stunning uh, details, and uh, the the right people came along at the right time. So, if this in any way uh, inhibits or interferes with pet notions about what a, a Sasquatch is or what is on the Patterson film, you know. Be willing to let it go in the face of evidence, strong evidence. I am. And I thank you for your time.